He's seen every movie. He's totally groovy. Just sit back and hit play. Cut! He's Chuck the Movie Guy. Hi. Hello? Come on in. Hey, thanks. This is Chuck Thomas from Portland. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Good to see you. I so set you up for tripping you in the hallway when you're walking, but you didn't even notice. <laughs> oh, my God. Right? Not too shabby. You can relax. Yeah. Don't fall a... asleep. I, I, I may. <laughs> Mr. Thomas, anytime you're ready. Really? Right he doesn't mess around. Careful. Tony is like, you know, which way? To your right. To my right. Lean to your my right. right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's a little bit of narration going on in the beginning of this movie. Kind of remind me a little bit about Scrubs. But uh, uh, your character says uh, he didn't know where, where his life was going to be at. Uh, the, it turned out the way he planned. Yeah. Has your life turned out the way you planned? Not at all. I mean, I, I never dreamed that uh, that. Uh, I mean, I, I, I never dreamed I'd be this lucky. I mean, I, I, I knew I wanted to be a filmmaker, and I, and, I, and I knew maybe I'd give myself small parts in my movies, you know? Um, and I knew I was going to do whatever I could to, to, to achieve that goal. But I never imagined uh, at 31 I'd, I'd, things would be going uh, this well. I feel very lucky. Well, how, have you, how are you handling, though, the fame? I mean, you got a, uh, it's a very successful, popular TV show, and now you've got a couple movies under your belt. Yeah. How's that? I mean, I mean, it's fine. I mean, the funny thing is, is that my life really hasn't changed. Obviously, other than the the the, um, the fact that you know I could buy a house and uh, and uh, and people recognize you. But I'm I'm I still have the same friends from when I was uh, a waiter five years ago, and I still hang out with the same people. And I don't really, uh, you know, and it's funny. People never believe this, but in a lot of ways, your your life doesn't really change that much. I don't believe it. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it does. It does on some level. Okay. You go to the coffee bean, and, and someone yeah. recognizes you, and, yeah. and all that stuff. But I mean, you know, when I'm who I am in my house with my friends and okay. family, it's not really. I'm still still that. Michael's always fussing with his hair in this movie. Is that was that part of the movie, or is that just, is that just a reflex of you? You know, I think out. you might be uber sensitive for some reason. <laughs> guys adjusting their hair. A little I don't know. I'm, yeah, I I'm don't a little know. defensive. I don't know okay. if you're reading into. Something. I used to have hair like yours, but not anymore. So, but that's just a you know. I think you were just super sensitive. That. Okay. <laughs> uh, there's a line in the movie. I think Rachel uh, says, uh, "Relationships either work or they don't." And it seems such a like a simple statement, but do you believe that? Uh... I don't know. Sometimes it's like that guy who wrote that book. He's just not that into you. That was on like Oprah. And sometimes, you know, I'll have like a, a girl, a friend who's a girl, telling me how this. Well, it's not working out because this guy and da 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 da. da and, and all I can think of is like that phrase. He's just not that into you. You know. I think. Um, I think when it's really hard and you're arguing a lot and, and it's so much work at an early stage, then you just gotta cut bait and, and walk away. It's when they're it's when they're really good, um, and, and you're and you're not sure that that's when it becomes really hard. Like in this situation where he he's positive he's, she's the right one, but he's just terrified that she's the last girl he's ever gonna kiss. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's a um, I kind of don't want to talk about this because there's a scene in the movie where. Uh, do you know the moment I'm talking about where the, everybody in the audience at one point goes, "You're an idiot." Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Uh, um, do, you, do you think was that is, is that supposed to be the the, the moment where your, people just want to smack you? But one of the funny things about this movie is you know people have a reaction like they're on the edge of their seats, like they're talking about a thriller, but you know it's a movie about people talking, you know, yeah. because it does have some really good twists and turns. And um, you know I think that we wanted to uh, we wanted the character to. To buy it back by saying by taking full responsibility. I mean, I think one of the most powerful things you can do in, in 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 your life is take full responsibility for the stupid, idiotic things you've done, and that's what he's trying to do. And he'll do anything to get this girl back. I'm thinking that line, that moment may follow you around for a while. Where I think people are just going to come up to you on the street and say, "Dude, what do you think of?" You know what I mean? I think you, you, you watch. Yeah, out. but he wouldn't have been able to go fully back. I think he wanted to go fully back into the relationship with a clean slate, and uh, yeah, and he might regret it. But he he made the decision. You know what's cool about that scene is that you see his mind just racing. Is he yeah. going to say it? Is he not going to say it? Now, uh, let's talk about the Chinese water torture scene in this movie <laughs> when uh, you're just getting drenched over and over and over. Uh -huh. are, are you ever just sitting there? I mean, obviously, you're trying to act and do it, but you're thinking, what am I doing? Yeah. More on Scrubs. I mean, Scrubs is the most bizarre show in the world, and some of the things I'm doing there, I'm like, I can't believe this is my job. You know, last week they had me, the janitor spray paints me uh, to look like an American flag and hangs me from a flagpole with, and blows wind on me, so I'm flying like a flag. 
And I'm like, this is so weird. This is my job. Well, I tell you what. I love that show. I love this movie. Thank you, man. Great job. I Thank appreciate you so much. it.